Okay, what's good everyone? This is Cyber Neuro Druid playing Invasion from the Unknown, Scenario 16, Dawn of War. And we are at the point where we're playing part two of this scenario. We've defeated two leaders, there are two leaders to go, and we're currently in a position where we have to basically do a cleanup operation on the flanks. I've got a few options here. Um, I could let Malkashar try and single-handedly deal with every single one of these units. I don't actually think that's a hugely smart move though, because Malkashar is strong but not that strong and he's nowhere near another level. Now there are some units that can do fairly substantial damage to him over time. So that my spectres, or at least some of them, are going to come in on the attack. Okay, I need two hits on this guy to take him down. Yeah, alright, Slashy is now on 36 hit points. Oh, these after maximum level advancements are so good for Spectres, given how little health they have in the first place. Alright, there's an Imp here. And here there's a Demon. I'd like to get rid of that demon. How good are you in the woods? Not so good. You can go there. That was pretty decent. Yeah! Okay. Kesha, who are you going to go for? Um, I think the Automaton is the most threatening enemy here. This guy will kill himself if he attacks me. Um, these guys are rubbish. Um, this guy may also kill himself. Uh, these guys aren't great, so yeah, I think I can do it. Alright, no more automaton. Um, you're a dim weak level 1 imp, so you can fight my blood bat if you really want to fight someone. And I'm going to get a house so that my income doesn't look as abysmal as it currently does. So now it's a question of pushing northwards, and I think my best bet here is really just to push as hard as I can. yourself punched, fellow. Still, I don't think there are any units that can take you out in combat, even if they all go for it. These are incredibly weak melee units on this side, with the exception of this grunt, who's actually reasonably decent, but that grunt is going down. Oh, that's nice. Erethan, you get leadership if you go there, don't you? Okay, well you try, you can almost kill that guy. You go in there and do the thorns attack. Alright, now Erethan, you should be able to get the kill. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now I need magical units to dislodge these demonesses from their hills. And by hills I mean villages, apparently. One down. Okay, some more magic over here. Who's gonna get the kill? You would need to hit with all three attacks for that to work. 
What about you? You are notoriously slow, but you can get in on that upper combat. Just. And neither of you can, so... Or at least... You can't. So, use both of you to take this. But you can get the light advantage. How much extra damage will that make you do? Seven. Still need, still need all five hits. Okay. Oh, you got it. Oh, very well done. And now you can't do anything useful at all. That's annoying. Um, you rebellion. Aha, here we go. Here I can use the explosive arrow attack. I will get zapped if I do so. And it actually is less likely to kill than the normal longbow attack. But I would kill the grunt if I did that. So that's just amusing enough that I feel like it's worth doing. Alright, let's watch this. Boom! Zap, zap, zap. Yeah. You come in and get the kill. And now there's only three of you left, including one grunt. Oh, and a falcon. So slow, you just want to go and heal. And hope not to get killed by the falcon next turn. You grab that house, because that's all you can do. So unfortunately, Irari the Necromancer cannot quite kill this Chaos Invoker. Good job, Gallus, and you're still on full health, of course. So, I mean, I could just leave this guy. Because, yeah, the slow attack is just going to be annoying if I get if I get too many too many slows. You come over here. Okay, not a power performance there from my necromancer friend, um, but it's not like this grunt can do anything hugely useful now either. I don't think, hopefully, I mean they could gang up on Detea and uh, kill him or her, and that would be very frustrating because that's my only prowler. But if they try and do that with ranged attacks, I'll probably get at least one slow in, so I reckon it's less likely than... than uh, Alright, up here, there are some enemies who are attacking the blue leader, and I'd like to be able to stop that from happening. Maybe I'll send a few units up there in a bit, but otherwise the blue leader's going to have to take care of himself. And actually, I won't lose if the blue leader dies, I'll only lose if the blue leader dies and the green leader dies. Okay, that was a long turn, wasn't it? Good job. Run away. <laughs> They're really desperate to go for that spectre. Ah, not good. That seems silly. Okay, cleanup mode. Um, you can't do anything. So you run down and get that house. 
Erethon, you can't do anything useful either. Neither can you. Elenia, you can do something useful. Oh well. You can't get in, you can't get in. You can get in, good. And down goes that person. Detea is looking hurt. You're slow, you're going to need to head south sooner rather than later. So Gallas, you can finish the job. Of course you get yourself punched in the process. Hopefully Ben is quaking in his Ben-like boots. He's pretty tough. I mean, 99 health is no joke, but... <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, not enough. It's nowhere near enough. Should I send someone up here to help out the blue leader? I think the answer is not from this flank, because... Well... Okay, this is a good place for a bat to come in. Ugh. Lovely. Alright, oh, actually, you're pretty close to a level now. And you're pretty close to an after maximum level. to make sure that all of these guys die, because I don't like them. Mm, it's probably more important for me to kill Pross the Demoness. So I'm going to try that. Ah, oh, dear. That was appalling. And now... I'm unlikely to get the kill in any event. Well, maybe. Maybe. Three out of four hits. Not impossible. Ah, oh, not quite. Okay, this this person could level now, that could be a problem. And this one is still alive, so this is this is frustrating now. I wish I had a bit more to offer. So try and bait everyone down here to attack Malkeshar. Well it's the middle of the day, they're not gonna be strong against him, so Yeah, why not? They might, if, if they can distract anyone from the blue leader, that would be good. Alright, that's one less imp. You're not close, everyone else has moved, you've not moved, you've not moved. And Sir Slow is going to be very slow in this battle and going to stay right at the back. Could grab the other greenhouse. I don't think green is going to be all that much of a useful quantity in this uh, match, so yeah, let's do it. Alright, no more funds for you, green. Push on. A 
living life on the edge there, blue leader. But that was a nice kill. Ah! Oh. Ooh, free health from Alkesha. Excellent. Okay, and I've pretty got pretty much got full battlefield control now. Am I gonna send Malkashar up to fight this battle? Or maybe I'll send a Spectre back. I think that would make more sense. The um, the Spectres are not gonna be great against those units on foot. But then again the Spectres aren't all that great against these guys either. <laughs> I'm still alive. I want someone who's definitely going to kill this demoness for sure. And it's an after maximum level advancement for Igor. <laughs> now you just stole Malkashar's house, and I think there's only one punishment for that which is suitable, which is killing which is getting killed by Malkashar himself. And you were so close to a level as well. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Two hits? I hope so. Yeah, perfect. Alright. Are the imps gonna go for you now? Cause you're because you're there. Come on, blue leader, you can do it. You can pull it off against this Zephyr. Nice level three unit here with powerful attacks. And everyone else here is gonna head south. Including Growlow, the Goblin Rouser. Okay, you can head to this house and grab that because you're ahead of the game, and I don't want you attacking Ben anyway because you'll die. Where can Ben come out to? Okay, Ben can come quite far. Well, that was dumb. Don't move you that far, you just go down to here. For the time being, so slow. This is such a mess on the right-hand side. I wish it was. I wish it was more efficient. I think I'm nearly there, though. <clears throat> Let's see. This this specter could be in trouble if the, if the Zephyr decides to come out and get a few lucky hits. Ah, uh, Blue Leader's very much in trouble now. I think Blue Leader might not make it through. Oh, Blue Leader's still alive! And there comes the health, and there comes another house.
Two good hits. Two good hits would do it. I won't get them, but I might do. Ah, oh, so inefficient. Wow, <laughs> that was unimpressive. Okay, again, a little bit worried for Blady because of the fire attacks, but it's the middle of the day, so it should be fine. And then I think the blue troops should be able to finish the job. Mal. And then you kill this guy if you can. Perfect. Villages. Yeah, there we go. Now you're a skirmisher, you can get out of there if you want to. I want this one too. Hmm. But first things first. Oh, bless you, Growlo. You've gone all the way out in front. Bless you. And only to get killed by this by this raider. But okay, let's put my more powerful troops on the front line and see if anyone comes out into the water. Villages to grab? No, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Blue leaders playing sensibly. Oh, rip. <laughs> Dear me, this is really feeble, and now I really am worried about Blady. I don't really worry about this guy. Thought at least one one good solid hit. Well, can't count on anything apparently. Okay, I'm actually going to send you back. You can catch up later. You're going to come down here. Brown starting to get some troops massed again. I'm not liking that. Well, I can get this guy to come out and suicide by putting my lich here to hopefully no other effect. You just sit there for a turn and you'll gain some health and then you come up behind here. First things first, take out this little wiener who's guarding the pass. Oh, 
good. Arathan, you know what to do. Getting there, getting there. If you can get a level 3 kill now, you'll go up a level. Nice. Okay, if I'm really jammy, I could even get the kill here. Nope. No, but it's close. that. Oh, someone eventually... <laughs> no one can hit this guy. Still focused on killing Blue Leader. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. I'm gonna steal some houses, but I'll steal them first from the enemy. And Blue Leader survives by a thread. Meanwhile over here, my forces aren't looking so beefy, and you didn't come out to fight. You stay where you are this time. I don't want Scythe to get zapped by the Law Keeper. If Malkeshar does well, you know, these them's the breaks, and he won't die. Erethan, can you? No. I was going to say, can you go and kill that falcon? But of course you can't. Lol. Oh, it killed him! I didn't think it would do that. I thought it was half damage or something. <clears throat> your boldness has sealed your doom, elf. Even if you manage to survive the trials that await you at the Pass of Ilgrid, the Master and the Warlord will ensure you pay dearly for your insolence, yes. The Warlord is alive? Where is he? <laughs> I am not telling you heathens anything. May your eye bless the souls of the fallen. So, he committed suicide. The coward. I suppose it comes with the territory of worshipping demon goddesses that instigate death and destruction on a world scale. The things I have heard from the northerners' spies are truly horrifying. Such as? Binding the souls of fallen powerful demons to the bodies of other creatures like humans, orcs, even beasts, pulling the spirits of deceased warriors of past ages back into this world torturing and experimenting on large numbers of all manner of living creatures and feeding upon their energy. Galas? Perhaps he would prefer to not be reminded of his comrade's fate back at your eponymous valley, don't you think? 
Yes, that was highly improper of me. I am sorry, Galas. Hmm. Well, two hits would get you get you the kill. Can I make that easier by? No, you probably you're much more likely to kill. Try this. Yes. All right, Erethan now only needs a level two kill to level up. And everyone else. We are almost there. Very almost. Okay, suck on all of these guys. The one remaining leader must be pooping himself right now. Oh, I wanted to steal those houses from you, that's annoying. Erethan, you, you kill the falcon. Oh no, you're not good enough, are you? No. Someone else kill the falcon. You're not going to do anything useful in this game. Kill the falcon. And I think that's the last random guy unit on the map. So slow! You can very slowly start making your way. As can you two spectres. It's a very... running in is a very risky strategy with Malka Shah. Even though there's a few other people who could back up the damage. Hmm, you know though, what's 5 times 13? 65. Yeah. Even 4 hits would be almost enough. Do it. Do it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Ah, overconfidence, that's the price. Okay, well let's see what we can do down here then. And in comes absolutely everyone. Need to do 32 damage. You're not likely to do more than about 12 or 24. Same, so... Okay, um, I would need two hits from the Spectre. What about you? Or two hits from you, but if you don't succeed, you might die. 
Still, you're the... Who is actually more likely? Um, two, 12 or 4 at 40% or... No, I think it is you. Alright, this might be your last act, Milongil, but uh, I want you to try it. Oh no. Shoot. Okay. I think Milongil might be Mil not not Milongil for this world. That's such a shame. This was this is a real epic loyal troop, and all because I was trying to push an ending quicker than it perhaps should have been pushed. Um. Now, if I come down here. So I think what's going to happen now is that the Runner Drone and Ivan the Headhunter will try and kill Milongil, and this Law Keeper is going to run to this house. Not 100% sure about that, but we'll see. It would be very sad to take a casualty at this point, but I guess that is the nature of the beast. Pretty good turn, all told, for the undead. I forget that these guys get leadership as well when they're next to the Lawmaster. Uh, Milongil, RIP. Um, I remember you becoming a, a Lich in Scenario 5B, Cursed Plateau, and uh, you were going to be very handy, but now it is not to be. Who can most usefully get kills here? I think you. Very nice. Okay, well at least I've got a bat now that's almost just level up. It's going to take me ages to get another lich. Urgh. Okay, you can't get the kill, but anyone else can. Who needs the experience the most? And who's not going to die if they, if they miss? Ooh, striking me down hardly makes a difference in the grand scheme of things. May the voice and the fire of Uriah have <laughs> May the voice and the fire of Uriah have mercy on your pitiful souls. <clears throat> Alright, now the objective is to make it to the south edge of the map. Um, get my early finish bonus, that's nice. Can grab the rest of the houses. And then someone needs to head south. I've moved everyone apart from Malkashar this turn, but he's he's also the slowest. Uh, I've got plenty of turns, so... Uh, how long will it take you? Five turns to get to the south edge of the map. How long will it take you? Four turns to get to the edge of the map. How long will it take you? Also four turns. All right, you can safely do that. I don't know if there's some sort of clever tomato surprise thing in this level. There might be. Guess we'll find out.
I mean, you can laugh at me being cautious here, but I honestly don't know what's going to happen when I get nearer to this map edge. Probably nothing, it looks like. Can everyone except Sir Slow get south of the river at least? Everyone except Sir Slow is south of the river. Even Sir Slow might make it. Okay, that's enough randomly moving units southward to see what happens. Next turn. I should have had Gallus just move straight southwards, because otherwise, I mean, I really, you know, didn't gain much from having him come into that fight at the end. Here we go. Gallas, sir, we can't just say farewell and let you go on alone. Even though you have stepped down, we have followed and served you for so long that it doesn't feel right to part ways here. Well? Gallas, this is supposed to be an infiltration mission. It would be unwise to let your men come with us. We can't even guarantee our own survival. I... My lord, we understand well the risks involved in this mission. This is not a choice we made lightly but you will need all the help you can get to reach the Empire's capital alive. Please, let us accompany you one last time. <laughs> I doubt I will ever convince you otherwise. Very well, you may come with us if you wish, but understand that the odds are not in our favour. It's likely you will never see your loved ones again. We know, sir, and they do as well, but hasn't it always been this way since Uriah's followers first set foot in our valley? Kinda has, especially for you, now that you're berserk. Perhaps. You are bold for coming to my domain, Gallas. But how long will it be before you succumb to the temptation of the power of your eye? Only time can tell what fate has in store for us. Fifty-five bonus gold. <laughs> Gonna beat all those leaders for that? Well, I mean, I had to kind of come through them anyway, so... Guess it doesn't make a huge deal of difference. I kind of thought I would just automatically win after defeating the enemy leaders, but no. Okay, that's it. Looking at the statistics, who did I lose? Uh, three weak undead and one very powerful undead, unfortunately. Milongil, you will be remembered. All right, that's it for this part. Come back next time for scenario 17.